General Dynamics Corporation GD is an American aerospace and defense corporation. As of 2019, it was the fifth largest defense contractor in the United States, and the sixth largest in the world, by sales. The company ranked number 92 in the 2019 Fortune 500 list of the largest United States corporations by total revenue. It is headquartered in Reston, Fairfax County, Virginia, formed in 1954 with the merger of submarine manufacturer Electric Boat and aircraft manufacturer Canadair. It evolved through multiple mergers and divestitures and changed markedly in the post-Cold War era of defense consolidation. General Dynamics' former Fort Worth division, which manufactured the F-16 Fighting Falcon, was sold to the Lockheed Corporation in 1993, but GD re-entered the airframe business in 1999 with its purchase of business jet manufacturer Gulfstream Aerospace. Topic. History Topic. Electric boat General Dynamics traces its ancestry to John Philip Holland's Holland Torpedo Boat Company. This company was responsible for developing the U.S. Navy's first modern submarines, built at Lewis Nixon's Crescent Shipyard in Elizabethport, New Jersey. The then revolutionary submarine torpedo boat Holland V was built there, its keel being laid down in 1896. In 1906 Electric Boat subcontracted submarine construction to the Four River Shipyard in Quincy, Massachusetts to build the submarines they had designed and won contracts for. In 1933 Electric Boat acquired ownership of a shipyard in Groton, Connecticut to build submarines. The first submarine built in Groton to be delivered to the U.S. Navy was the USS Cuttlefish in 1934. Electric Boat was cash flush but lacking in work following World War II, during which it produced 80 submarines for the Navy, with its workforce shrinking from 13,000 to 4,000 by 1946. President and Chief Executive Officer John J. Hopkins started looking for companies that would fit into Electric Boat's market in hopes of diversifying. Topic. Canadair purchase. Canadair was owned by the Canadian government and was suffering from the same post-war malaise as Electric Boat. It was up for sale, and Hopkins bought the company for $10 million in 1946. The factory alone was worth more than $22 million, according to the Canadian government's calculations, excluding the value of the remaining contracts for planes or spare parts. However, Canadair's production line and inventory systems were in disorder when Electric Boat purchased the company. Hopkins hired Canadian-born mass production specialist H. Oliver West to take over the president's role and return Canadair to profitability. Shortly after the takeover, Canadair began delivering its new Canadair North Star a version of the Douglas DC-4 and was able to deliver aircraft to Trans-Canada Airlines, Canadian Pacific Airlines, and British Overseas Airways Corporation BOAC well in advance of their contracted delivery times. Defence spending increased with the onset of the Cold War, and Canadair went on to win many Canadian military contracts for the Royal Canadian Air Force and became a major aerospace company. These included Canadair CT-133 Silver Star Trainer, the Canadair Argus Long Range Maritime Reconnaissance and Transport Aircraft, and the Canadair F-86 Sabre. Between 1950 and 1958, 1,815 Sabres were built. Canadair also produced 200 CF-104 Starfighter supersonic fighter aircraft, a license-built version of the Lockheed F-104. In 1976, General Dynamics sold Canadair to the Canadian government for $38 million. Canadair was acquired by Bombardier Inc. in 1986. Topic. General Dynamics emerges Aircraft production became increasingly important at Canadair, and Hopkins argued that the name, Electric Boat, was no longer appropriate. 
so Electric Boat was reorganized as General Dynamics on the 24th of April 1952. General Dynamics purchased Convair from the Atlas Group in March 1953. The sale was approved by government oversight with the provision that GD would continue to operate out of Air Force Plant 4 in Fort Worth, Texas. This factory was set up in order to spread out strategic aircraft production and rented to Convair during the war to produce B-24 Liberator bombers. Over time, the Fort Worth plant became Convair's major production center. General Dynamics purchased Liquid Carbonic Corporation in September 1957 and controlled it as a wholly owned subsidiary until being forced by a federal antitrust ruling to spin it off to shareholders in January 1969. Liquid Carbonic was then bought that same month by the Houston Natural Gas Company. Convair worked as an independent division under the General Dynamics umbrella. Over the next decade, the company introduced the F-106 Delta Dart Interceptor, the B-58 Hustler, and the Convair 880 and 990 airliners. Convair also introduced the Atlas Missile Platform, the first operational intercontinental ballistic missile. Topic. Management churn Hopkins fell seriously ill during 1957 and was eventually replaced by Frank Pace later that year. Meanwhile, John Nash succeeded Joseph McNarney as president of Convair. Henry Crown became the company's largest shareholder and merged his material service corporation with GD in 1959. Nash left in May 1961, taking most of Convair's top people with him. GD subsequently reorganized into Eastern Group in New York City and Western Group in San Diego, California, with the latter taking over all of the aerospace activities and dropping the Convair brand name from its aircraft in the process. Frank Pace retired under pressure in 1962 and Roger Lewis, former Assistant Secretary of the Air Force and Pan American Airways CEO, was brought in as CEO. The company recovered, then fell back into the same struggles. In 1970, the board brought in McDonnell Douglas President Dave Lewis no relation as chairman and CEO, who served until retiring in 1985. <laughs> <laughs> Aviation powerhouse During the early 1960s the company bid on the United States Air Force's TFX tactical fighter, experimental, project for a new low-level penetrator. Robert McNamara, newly installed as the Secretary of Defense, forced a merger of the TFX with U.S. Navy plans for a new long-range fleet defender aircraft. In order to bid on a naval version successfully, GD partnered with Grumman, who would build a customized version for aircraft carrier duties. After four rounds of bids and changes, the GD, Grumman team finally won the contract over a Boeing submission. The F-111 first flew in December 1964. The F-111B flew in May 1965, but the Navy said that it was too heavy for use on aircraft carriers. With an unacceptable Navy version, estimates for 2,400 F-111s, including exports, were sharply reduced, but GD still managed to make a $300 million profit on the project. Grumman went on to use many of the innovations of the F-111 in the highly successful F-14 Tomcat, an aircraft designed solely as a carrier-borne fighter. Topic. Reorganization In May 1965, GD reorganized into 12 operating divisions based on product lines. The board decided to build all future planes in Fort Worth, ending plane production at Convair's original plant in San Diego but continuing with space and missile development there. In October 1970, Roger Lewis left and David S. Lewis from McDonnell Douglas was named CEO. Lewis required that the company headquarters move to St. Louis, Missouri, which occurred in February 1971. Topic. F-16 success In 1972, GD bid on the USAF's lightweight fighter LWF project. 
GD and Northrop were awarded prototype contracts. GD's F-111 program was winding down, and the company desperately needed a new aircraft contract. It organized its own version of Lockheed's famed Skunk Works, the Advanced Concepts Laboratory, and responded with a new aircraft design incorporating modern equipment. GD's YF-16 first flew in January 1974 and proved to have slightly better performance than the YF-17 in head-to-head -head testing. It entered production as the F-16 in January 1975 with an initial order of 650 and a total order of 1,388. The F-16 also won contracts worldwide, beating the F-17 in foreign competition as well. GD built an aircraft production factory in Fort Worth, Texas. F-16 orders eventually totaled more than 4,000, making it the largest and most successful program for the company, and one of the most successful Western military projects since World War II. Topic. Land systems and marine systems focus In 1976, General Dynamics sold the struggling Canadair back to the Canadian government for $38 million. By 1984, General Dynamics had four divisions, Convair in San Diego, General Dynamics Fort Worth, General Dynamics Pomona, and General Dynamics Electronics. In 1985 a further reorganization created the Space Systems Division from the Convair Space Division. In 1985, GD also acquired Cessna. In 1986 the Pomona Division, which mainly produced the Standard Missile and the Phalanx CIWS for the Navy, was split up, creating the Valley Systems Division. Valley Systems produced the Stinger Surface-to-Air Missile and the Rolling Airframe Missile RAM. Both units were recombined into one entity in 1992. Henry Crown, still GD's largest shareholder, died on 15 August 1990. Following this, the company started to rapidly divest its underperforming divisions under CEO William Anders. Cessna was resold to Textron in January 1992, the San Diego and Pomona missile production units to General Motors Hughes Aerospace in May 1992, the Fort Worth aircraft production to Lockheed in March 1993 a nearby electronics production facility was separately sold to Israeli-based Elbit Systems, marking that company's entry into the United States market, and its space systems division to Martin Marietta in 1994. The remaining Convair aircraft structure unit was sold to McDonnell Douglas in 1994. The remains of the Convair division were simply closed in 1996. GD's exit from the aviation world was short-lived, and in 1999 the company acquired Gulfstream Aerospace. The Pomona operation was closed shortly after its sale to Hughes Aircraft. In 1995, General Dynamics purchased the privately held Bath Iron Works shipyard in Bath, Maine, for $300 million, diversifying its shipbuilding portfolio to include U.S. Navy surface ships such as guided missile destroyers. In 1998, the company acquired NASSCO, formerly National Steel and Shipbuilding Company, for $415 million. The San Diego shipyard produces U.S. Navy auxiliary and support ships as well as commercial ships that are eligible to be U.S. flagged under the Jones Act. Having divested itself of its aviation holdings, GD concentrated on land and sea products. GD purchased Chrysler's defense divisions in 1982, renaming them General Dynamics Land Systems. In 2003, it purchased the defense divisions of General Motors as well. It is now a major supplier of armored vehicles of all types, including the M1 Abrams, LAV-25, Stryker, and a wide variety of vehicles based on these chassis. Force Protection, Inc. was acquired by General Dynamics Land Systems in November 2011 for $350 mil. General Dynamics Land Systems GDLS, was hurt by the cancellation of the U.S. Army's Future Combat Systems Program and the loss in the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle MRAP replacement competition. Topic. Recent history 
On August 19, 2008, GD agreed to pay $4 million to settle a lawsuit brought by the U.S. government claiming that a GD unit fraudulently billed the government for defectively manufactured parts used in U.S. military aircraft and submarines. The U.S. alleged that GD defectively manufactured or failed to test parts used in U.S. military aircraft from September 2001 to August 2003, such as for the C-141 Starlifter transport plane. The GD unit involved, based in Glen Cove, New York, closed in 2004. In 2014, the Government of Canada announced it had selected the General Dynamics Land Systems subsidiary in London, Ontario, to produce light armoured vehicles for Saudi Arabia as part of a $10 billion deal with the Canadian Commercial Corporation. The sale has been criticised by political opponents because of the Saudi Arabian led intervention in Yemen. In December 2018, after Prime Minister Justin Trudeau suggested Canada might scrap the deal, the company warned that doing so could lead to billions of dollars in liability and risk the loss of thousands of jobs. Trudeau has since said that while he is critical of Saudi conduct, he cannot simply scrap the deal because Canada as a country of the rule of law needs to respect its contracts. On 30 January 2019, CEO Phoebe Novakovich warned investors that the matter had significantly impacted the company's cash flow because Saudi Arabia was nearly $2 billion in arrears on its payments. In 2018, General Dynamics acquired information technology services giant CSRA for $9.7 billion and merged it with GDIT. General Dynamics has been accused by groups such as Code Pink and Green America of making money from human suffering by profiting off the migrant children held at U.S. detention camps. Due to its IT services contracts with the Department of Health and Human Services Office of Refugee Resettlement, the government agency that operates shelters for unaccompanied children to include those separated from their families as part of the Trump administration family separation policy. The company says it has no role in constructing or operating detention centers, and that its contracts to provide training and technical services began in 2000 and have spanned across four presidential administrations. It was announced in September 2018 that the U.S. Navy awarded contracts for 10 new Arleigh Burke class destroyers from General Dynamics Bath Iron Works and Huntington Ingalls Industries. Former U.S. Secretary of Defense General Jim Mattis rejoined the company's board of directors in August 2019. He had previously served on the board, but resigned and divested before becoming Secretary of Defense. Timeline Electric Boat was established in 1899. Divestitures 1967 – General Atomics to Gulf Oil 1969 – Forced by federal order to divest itself of Liquid Carbonic Corporation during month of January, Liquid Carbonic was then snapped up by Houston Natural Gas Co. 1976 – Canadair sold back to the Canadian government. 1981 – Following expropriation legislation passed by the government of the province of Quebec, General Dynamics Canadian subsidiary sold its 54.6% controlling interest in Asbestos Corporation Limited to the Quebec government-owned corporation, Société Nationale de l'Amiante SNA. 1982 – Sold off Stromberg Carlson in pieces to several buyers. 1991 Data Systems Division sold to Computer Sciences Corp. 1992 Tactical Missiles Division to Hughes Aircraft Company. 1992 Cessna to Textron. 1992 Electronics Division sold to Carlisle Group of Washington, D.C. and renamed GDE Systems. 1993 Fort Worth Division, a producer of fixed-wing military aircraft, to Lockheed a nearby electronics production facility, in which Lockheed was not interested, was sold separately to Elbit Systems. 1993 Space Systems Division to Martin Marietta. 1994 Convair's Aerostructures Unit to McDonnell Douglas, Convair closed in 1996. 2006 Material Service to Hansen. 
2007 Freeman United Coal Mining Co., sold to Springfield Coal Co. for an undisclosed amount 2010 Spacecraft Development and Manufacturing a business line within the Advanced Information Systems Division to Orbital Sciences Corporation 2014 Advanced Systems another business line within Advanced Information Systems to McDonald, Detweiler and Associates Topic. Company outline Topic. Business units As of 2019, General Dynamics consists of 10 separate businesses as follows Electric Boat Gulfstream NASSCO General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems General Dynamics Mission Systems Bath Iron Works GDIT General Dynamics Land Systems General Dynamics European Land Systems Jet Aviation Topic. Aircraft Systems General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark General Dynamics Grumman F-111B General Dynamics F-111C General Dynamics F-111K General Dynamics Grumman EF-111A Raven General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon General Dynamics F-16 Vista General Dynamics F-16XL General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon Variants Martin, General Dynamics RB-57F Canberra Topic. Marine Systems American Overseas Marine Corporation Bath Iron Works Electric Boat National Steel and Shipbuilding Company Quincy Shipbuilding Division, closed 1986. Topic: Missile Systems. RIM-24 Tartar, FIM-43 Red Eye, MIM-46 Mahler, RIM-66 Standard, AGM-78 Standard Arm, FIM-92 Stinger. AIM-97 Seekbat RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile AGM-129 ACM Tomahawk Missile BGM-109G Ground Launched Cruise Missile SM-65 Atlas CGM, HGM-16 Topic. Combat Systems Former General Dynamics Pomona Division Phalanx CIWS General Dynamics Land Systems General Dynamics Robotic Systems Autonomous Navigation System Mobile Detection and Assessment Response System Unmanned Surface Vehicle Expeditionary Tank M1 Abrams Series Main Battle Tank Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle Heavy Assault Bridge Program LAV Series Striker Armored Combat Vehicle Crusader Self-Propelled Howitzer General Dynamics Armament and Technical PRODUCT SGAU-17 Minigun GAU-19 General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems General Dynamics European Land Systems GDELS GDELS STAIR ASCODAFV ULAN Pander 2 GDELS Mawig Mawig Duro Mawig Eagle Mawig Piranha GDELS Santa Barbara Sistemus Leopard 2E ASCODAFV Pizarro General Dynamics United Kingdom Limited Scout SV Topic. Information Systems and Technology 
Information systems and technology represent 34% of the company's revenue. Topic. Launch vehicles Atlas Rocket Family Atlas Centaur Atlas E F Atlas G Atlas H Atlas SLV3 Atlas Agena Nexus Rocket Space Launch Vehicle Concept Never Built Topic Aerospace Gulfstream Aerospace Jet Aviation Topic. Corporate Governance Current members of the Board of Directors of General Dynamics are, Catherine Reynolds, Nicholas Chabraha, James Crown, William Fricks, Paul Kaminsky, John Keane, Lester Lyles, Phoebe Novakovich, William A. Osborne, Laura J. Schumacher and Robert Walmsley. Topic. Financials General Dynamics has $30.9 billion in sales as of 2017 primarily military, but also civilian with its Gulfstream Aerospace Unit and conventional shipbuilding and repair with its National Steel and Shipbuilding subsidiary. In 2004, General Dynamics bid for the UK company Alvis plc, the leading British manufacturer of armoured vehicles. In March the board of Alvis Vickers voted in favour of the £309 million takeover. However at the last minute Bay Systems offered £355 million for the company. This deal was finalised in June 2004. The corporation's subsidiaries are donors to the Canadian Defence and Foreign Affairs Institute. 0.10% of General Dynamics stock is owned by the Crown family, which includes Nancy Carrington Crown and Stephen Crown. This is the family's largest single asset. Topic. See also Top 100 contractors of the U.S. Federal Government List of companies headquartered in Northern Virginia